everybody, thanks so much for joining this. We'll give everybody just another minute or two to file in here. In the meantime, if you have any questions at all during this event, go ahead. There's a chat and a Q&A at the bottom of your screen. You can go ahead and ask questions anytime there. I'll be happy to jump in and answer them. So don't be shy about that. Wait a second here. All right. Let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay. You see my screen? Good, good. All right. Awesome. So what I wanted to do with this is just give you guys a sense of how the TriScribe program works, how it's built and why we've built it that way and how it might look for you and your particular goals and needs. So this is the official grand tour. We'll go ahead and get started on. And really the first place I want to start is the background of, of why this is built the way it's built. So our methodology is grounded in helping athletes integrate sport into life and specifically time-starved athletes. So most of us are busy, busy time-starved people, myself included. We've got commitments, we've got, um, you know, our, our passion for sport, but we've also got family and friends and pets and jobs and kids and other demands on our life. So for us, success doesn't just mean getting onto a podium or PR, although that's I think all of us enjoy those. Um, really, the success is being able to train and, and be as successful as we can athletically while also staying pragmatic and being able to thrive in other areas of our life as well. So we want to be able to get to those podiums and PRs fit and fresh and do it in a way that really amplifies our life in general. So that's sort of the general methodology that, that TriSquad's built on. And what that looks like for us, uh, the, the sort of way that we, we've created that is these pillars of performance. We've got endurance, strength, recovery, and nutrition. And we don't just want you to get fit. We want you to be able to be at your best overall. And for that to happen, you really need to have a focus on all of those areas. And we also want to be able to empower you. So we wanna give you the tools to be fitter and stronger, but we also want you to understand why and how to do that you know your own schedule and fitness levels and goals better than anybody else. And so you are in the best position to be able to make the training work for you and really optimize things. So we wanna give you those tools, but we also wanna give you the support and, and make sure that you feel really, really confident using those tools. So TriSquad includes a whole bunch of opportunities for coaching interaction. We have a lot of built-in education and other pieces of supporting structure that'll, that'll help you get the most out of your training and also help you best integrate that training into your busy life. So let's take a look at what this actually is like in action. All right, so the first stop here is gonna be on our endurance pillar. <laughs> which is what I think most of you guys came here to, to, to hear about, right? The swim, bike, and run. And so this is kind of the meat and potatoes. It's TriSquad's built on a year-round training program. We call it the baseline plan. And it's not base training, like in the cardio sense. It's baseline in the sense that this is sort of the foundation structure that you're going to have sustain your performance through the majority of the year. And so with the exception of a couple of your like major A races, this is the training that you're going to be seeing for most of the year, but it's not static throughout the year. Um, there's a natural progression kind of from preparation, build phase, race specific work, and then into a structured postseason. And if you've heard um, Matt Dixon talk, you know that that postseason for him and all of us are strong believers in this, that it's like your best predictor of your, your upcoming season's performance. So having that year round structure is really critical for us. And that consistency helps drive your performance gains. And it also helps avoid overtraining, um, kind of overcommitment and fatigue, underperformance on race day, and the development of chronic injury that a lot of people have dealt with. So that year-round structure is really critical. And if we come down a level, um, that year-round structure is roughly divided into sort of um, four or five phases of training, like I said, preparation, building work, and all of that. And even coming down further, um, the, the weekly structure is also designed to help you really optimize your training within the structure of your life. So it's ultra customizable, really easy for time tired athletes to use without losing effectiveness, without losing specificity, without making you feel overwhelmed or like you need to train 15, 20 hours a week. Um, 
life isn't a spreadsheet. It's one of Matt's favorite phrases, but um, realistically, a lot of the training plans out there are. And when you try to fit them into the dynamic chaos of most of our lives, it doesn't give you the best results. So we want our training to be structured in a way that gives us the best physiological adaptations, but that's also flexible enough to react and adapt around the needs of your life. And, and that, and the Tri-Squad Baseline does a really, really nice job of that. So what we do is we want to give you, again, those tools and support resources to help you prioritize. So everything's built around a few key sessions each week. Those are your priorities. If you can do nothing else, everything's crazy during the week. You know, you got five sick kiddos and a you know, board meeting to attend or something like that, right? If you can only get a couple hours of training in, you know what to do. You know where the priorities are. And then we have supporting sessions built around those and then other additional supporting infrastructure around that. We also have, in addition to this main baseline plan, which is the training you'll be on, like I said, the vast majority of the year, we also include some additional areas of customization, um, optional workout library and race builds, and other things that I'll talk about in a couple of minutes. But the key point here is that we really help you understand we, we could deliver you the training, but we also give you kind of the tools that you need to adjust it around your particular needs, your goals. So it's not a generic program. It's something where you are going to get the, the ingredients that you need to cook up whatever the right training is for you. And so the other piece of this, um, and I would say on the training side, to be blunt, if Purple Patch isn't worth it for anything else, it is worth it for this. That's our coach training sessions. So as part of your tri-squad experience, you're gonna have access to our coach training. These are fully guided versions of your workouts. So we have this for our uh, most of our bike rides and then all of our strength sessions, as well as some other supplemental sessions in, our, in the optional workout library, which I'll talk about in a minute. So these coach sessions provide end-to-end -end coaching for a given workout from the beginning of the warm-up all the way through the cool down. And what's really powerful about these is that, you know, realistically, there's a lot of ways to get fit on the bike. There's a lot of ways to get stronger. But what you don't get in most other situations is the coach piece and learning to really ride more effectively, or as specifically as a triathlete, ride in the way that's going to allow you to run off of that bike in the best possible way. We get so many athletes that come in that are really solid runners, but they tend to, you know, we see a lot of people that are like, oh man, I really need to work on my run. My runs, my run is where I'm weaker. And um, oftentimes what we see is that by really committing to these rides and really committing to learning to ride better and not just try to increase your FTP, the run really dramatically improves. And so these sessions are incredibly powerful. You get to be coached by Matt Dixon on the bike, which is pretty awesome, um, or by other, other members of our virtual patch team. And so you have several of these a week. You have a video on demand option, so you can watch anytime from anywhere on any device and follow along on that workout. Or we also have live sessions available if the time zones and schedule works for you. So having that coach training is really powerful. We rolled this out at the beginning of last year and it was unbelievably successful. It's been, it's been amazing to see how much um, everyone's performance has improved. They are also a ton of fun. There's integrated music and graphics and crazy jokes between uh, Matt and Mike who, who do the sessions. And so they are a ton of fun. They're really immersive and they really help you get much more out of your given training session than you would have done with other methods. And so all that's available. And then we've also got opportunities for you to interact one-on-one -on -one with coaches as well. You know, I'll talk a little bit more about that um, down the road here. But the what's really important is that, you know, even though this is a self-managed program, you're not just following something out of a book in isolation. You're given an enormous amount of coaching support around how to do it effectively, how to get the most out of that session, and you're given that expert coached guidance. The next piece in it, so we've, you know, we've got swim, bike, and run. We also have, and I should go back to really important note here, um, strength training. So we talked about swim, bike, and run a whole bunch just now, but strength is also part of our baseline. It is also year-round. 
you should be doing strength all year round. Um, our strength training is endurance specific and it follows that same ebb and flow. So it really helps you to kind of optimize your performance because it shifts at different points of the year. Um, things like Peloton or TRX, the individual workouts for things like strength training are great, but they aren't really aligned to the type of training and the type of endurance work you might be doing at that given moment. And this strength training is. And so we've seen really, really great benefits again from our athletes. We routinely get people calling out how much um, the strength programs have helped them, both in terms of preventing or reducing their history of chronic injury, as well as improving their performance. So in addition to your swim, bike, and run, you'll also have your own strength. And the strength training, again, has live and VOD options. So kind of moving out past the training piece, what else does TriSquad include? So the next piece here is on the education side. Education is really critical to us. It is literally written into our mission statement. And it is something that's going to give you the opportunity, again, to get more out of your training. So we really want you to understand the why. And we really want you to understand all of the other supporting cast of characters that you need to have in place to be at your best on race day and to be at your best the rest of your days as well. Um, so things like nutrition, sleep, recovery, um, getting back to training after illness, navigating jet lag, everything you can imagine. We've got an education hub of like a thousand articles and videos on all kinds of topics like this. We've got uh, office hours, so live monthly events that are interactive um, like this year, all hanging out together on Zoom with one of our coaches and they'll go over topics and there's a whole bunch of interactive Q&A. So that's a great opportunity to be able to ask questions and talk with a coach um, that's built right into the TriSquad program. We also include those for what we call expert office hours where we bring in partners from outside. So for example, Scott Tyndall from Fuel In, he's a pretty brilliant uh, sports focused nutrition, performance focused nutrition specialist. And so Fuel In works really closely with us and they provide some really awesome guidance around day-to-day -day, um, dietary and nutrition elements, how to you know, fuel best for your races or troubleshoot GI issues and common things like that. And so again, all of that's included. And um, you'll also have education delivered to you kind of in a curated fashion. So we send out weekly emails and you know, it's, it's, it can sound a little bit overwhelming, but it's really just there if you need it and as you need it. And we work really hard to curate the, the education and opportunities to things that are really relevant and that our athletes are asking for. And so we always keep up to date with that. If, if we hear um, athletes, they say that they want to hear about a particular topic, we work really hard to make sure that we incorporate that as well. And then the final part, my favorite, is the community side. So community is at the heart of Tri Squad, and it is one of the most powerful pieces of it. So the community here really is your support network. It's kind of the connective tissue that holds the whole piece together. And it's a critical piece. You're not an island. Um, when you have accountability and people counting on you and people cheering you on, you can perform better, right? That's part of why people can push themselves better in a race environment than maybe they could at home in training. And so our community is fantastic. We have athletes all around the world, hundreds of them on every continent, I guess, except Antarctica. And it is a great environment. It's super inclusive, whether you are just starting out for your first try or you're going to Kona for the 10th time. Um, everybody is really, really inviting and welcoming. And I think that also shows the variety that we do have, again, shows how flexible and how effective and customizable the training really is. There are people like me that came in having done one sprint triathlon, not a lifetime athlete, adult on swimmer who could barely get through the warmups when, you know, the, the swim warmups when I first joined Purple Patch, all the way through one of my closest friends through the program, Alex Fuller, who one first overall amateur at a race last fall. He went to 70.3 Worlds. He's going to Kona. Um, both of us do the same training and both of us have grown really close, even though we are wildly apart in terms of our natural talent um, and kind of where we are in our, our own performance journeys. So it's a, it's a really fun community to meet people. I mean, people all around the world. It's really fun. And the support there is really critical for our athletes. We obviously saw that a lot in, you know, during the pandemic, but 
even now folks that are, you know, tired and, you know, maybe feeling a little less motivated will come in and, and get cheerleading and encouragement through our community Facebook group. So we've got a really very busy, wild, fun uh, Facebook group where all of our athletes are in there. Our coaches are also in there as well. So you can ask questions and chat about things. And the coaches are great about jumping in there and interacting with you as well. We've got opportunities for you to interact with the community in our uh, live sessions. So you can chat and see each other and suffer together and curse mats, uh, really hard workouts together if you want. And we also have in-person and virtual opportunities to get together through our camps, community challenges and all of that. So the community piece is, is really fun. Um, and we've got, we've got a, really, a really, really good group of people. And as things now are starting to, you know, hopefully, hopefully come back to normal, we also have started to see folks um, getting together with other Purple Patch athletes in the area for training and all of that. We get people meeting up at races and so there's, there's some good opportunities for in-person uh, interaction there as well. And so kind of with that, I'm gonna jump in in a moment here and kind of show you what the actual program really does look like, uh, which you would see if you were a tri-squad athlete. Pause really quick and see if there's any questions here. Um, and of course, the one question I know everybody will be asking is how much does it cost? So we'll get that out of the way right now. It is $129 a month. It's month to month. There's no like, long-term contracts or anything like that. Um, and all the things that we just discussed are, are included. And so what I'm going to do now is actually share a different window here. And I'm going to show you my own account and actually what this would look like if you were a squatty yourself so that you can see exactly what it looks like. All right. Great. Okay. There we are. Good, good. All right. So this is today's plan. This is a third party program. Um, some of you guys are probably familiar with Training Peaks or maybe in today's plan, but it's a it's what we use to deliver your training to you. You get a premium subscription as part of your membership with us. You don't have to pay any extra for it. And it's a really easy to use interface. They've got a great mobile app as well. And so this is what you would see, like I said, if you were a squatty, um, this is what the baseline program looks like. You can always see it two weeks in advance. So at midnight tonight, it'll bump out. I'll get the next day. So you always can see in advance so you can plan things out. And what I want to talk about and, and show you here specifically is actually going back to that customizability and the ability to really make this very flexible around your fitness goals and your plans and your, uh, your schedule as well. So the sessions are very easy. You can move them around. You can delete a session. You can also add sessions. So for example, I do a fair bit of gravel riding. So I'll frequently add in maybe some of these endurance rides to as excuse me, additional weekend sessions. Let's say something happens, oh no, your pool's closed for emergency repairs, no problem. You can drop in one of these dry land swim band sessions instead, right? So you've got the option to adjust things flexibly there. Just like you saw before, we do identify your key sessions for you. So again, you know what those priorities are in your week. You can only get three or four sessions in. These are the ones to get in. It won't always be your hardest sessions, but they're the ones that are the most important in terms of your overall performance improvements. And so you can adjust this, like I said, really, really down to the wire. Um, and even within a given session, you're going to see a whole bunch of variations and a whole bunch of options. So we include a time-rich and a time-starved version of every session. This is basically an expanded or condensed version. Um, if you're like me, it's either a, a swim talented or non swim talented version. So I usually do the, the shorter versions here just because it helps the most with my form. And then, uh, so you've got time rich, time starved. You've got here again an alternative session if you can't get to the pool, um, dry land swim band session instead. And the other thing I want to point out here is, again, that, that recommitment to education. You're always going to see a focus or an intent, kind of the why behind the session. 
We want you to be able to not just train more or better, but train smarter. We want you to really understand why you're doing the session that you're doing, because that's going to allow you to get the most out of it. That's going to allow you to understand where to push, where to scale back, what to focus on so that you can get the most out of the workout. And we also include like embedded videos that show you how to perform a drill correctly and all of that. And so you're going to see all that kind of education built right in. Again, it's really easy to enter. The interface is really easy to use. It's really smooth. So you've got the ability to move, add, delete, do long or short versions of the workouts. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was those VOD and live sessions. So again, any session that's enabled, you'll, you'll see these options. And these are an absolute blast. Um, like I said, there's integrated music and graphics. They are super, super immersive and fun. They will give you, you will get so much more out of these than you get from just following a workout on Swift. And I'm a hardcore Swifter, so it's not easy for me to say that, but um, I didn't think anybody could, could pull me out of Swift until I started doing these sessions. And not only were they a lot more fun, but they were also, my performance improved, my FTP improved, but my just ability to ride my bike was way, way, way better. And so there's, there's a ton of fun built into these, a ton of performance gains to be had. And you have these available for your riding and your running. So being able to ride along with Matt Dixon is pretty awesome. And like I said, I think it's one of the, if not the best value in all of TriSquad is having those sessions. So your weekday rides and all of your strength sessions will have those built in. And it's really easy to get to with a single click. And then, so you've got that flexibility, like I said, um, at the beginning of each week, we go through and show you any important details and announcements for the week. We show you where you are in the baseline plan. And so it's really easy for you to navigate. And I know that there's uh, some questions around sort of racing and how this adapts to your own race schedule. So we do have, in addition to the individual workouts, we do have race builds in here. And so again, um, the majority of the year, you're gonna be training and even racing right off of this baseline plan, but you might have one or two of those really major A races. We really wanna sharpen up the extra few percent and that's where you would use a race build and you'll drop these in. The baseline plan will load all the way up to the first day of that plan. You'll seamlessly transition over, complete that block of training for your race there's integrated recovery, and then you'll jump back onto the baseline wherever we currently are. And so they integrate really, really smoothly, and you can, you'll, you'll get plenty of education and guidance when you join on which build, if any, to use when. And so all of that, like I said, is built into the program. Um, I know we have, we have a question, on why are the builds so short? One of our common questions, right? You don't typically see four or seven week builds for an event like Half Ironman. But the reason is that these builds are designed to, again, work in conjunction with our baseline plan. The baseline plan gets you 95% of the way there in 95% of cases for different types of events. And so what these builds are designed to do is just give you that little bit of additional extra sharpening in cases where you might need it a full distance Ironman that's an A race where you're trying to qualify for Kona or some other type of really major A race event for the year. So for example, um, I'm doing Ironman 70.3 Chattanooga in May. So I am going to be using our, what we call our race off the baseline build. It's just a two week kind of a prep taper week ahead of the race and then a week of structured recovery after it. And the reason for that is based on what level of priority of race this is for me, the race length, and the fact that I've been on the baseline plan for a while, I've got some really good consistent training going into this, and I'm going to have, you know, I've already worked through sort of the preparation and build phase, and I'm actually going to have several weeks in here of some early race specific training as well ahead of this race, so I'm going to feel pretty darn prepared going into this. The baseline does a fantastic job of that. Um, I've got some, you know, shorter races kind of B and C races coming up ahead of that that I'll just jump right off the baseline from. And then I'm doing a 50K trail race in the fall. That'll be my other A, a race. And I'll be using a, a build for that one specifically because it's going to be 
really my main race for the year and, and a much bigger sort of chunk of work. And so I'll wanna sharpen up a little bit extra for that, um, got a little bit more focus. And the other thing that I wanna call out here is that again, um, it can feel overwhelming sometimes when people look at this and they're like, oh my gosh, well, what if I screw it up? How do I not, how do I not screw this up? How do I know what to do when, where? And again, I, I really wanna reinforce that even though we've got a lot of levers and buttons that you can pull and push to customize this training, we really work hard to make it very easy for you and really efficient. So you'll have an orientation series of workouts about a week when you first come in, you'll get an onboarding call where we go through everything with you. And then again, you've got that coach access as well. So we offer heavily discounted coach consults to our existing athletes, where you can sit down one-on-one -on -one with one of the coaches and say, okay, hey, I'm doing this 275 mile race straight up a mountain. You know, how do I prepare for it? Or, um, you know, season planning, whatever, whatever you want to talk about, you know, improving your cardio efficiency on the run or or, you know, maybe you've struggled in the swim and you want to work on that, whatever you want to work on, or, or even just at a higher level planning out strategy, nutrition, whatever it is, the coaches are a phenomenal resource. And most of our athletes will use those coach consults a few times a year, and then maybe two or three months out from a major race, you can use them really frequently or really infrequently. And so it's a really uh, cost effective and and high value way to add that additional element of a little bit of um, coaching guidance to your plan when you need it and and in a really effective way so you know and again you still have access built into the program around office hours the uh, Facebook group where the coaches are active, you can always write in and ask us questions. So the coaches are always available to an extent. But when you want that more in-depth guidance around your program, you've got that. And again, we give you lots of support when you join. By the end of your first week, you're gonna it's gonna feel super easy, super simple. You're gonna understand exactly what you need to do to maximize your training around your schedule, around your fitness goals, around your races for the year. And um, you'll also understand exactly where to go for those other important resources around nutrition and recovery and things like that. And so it's, it's put together really nicely. You'll have a really smooth on-ramp. And that takes care of, I think, the important pieces here that I wanted to cover. Let's see if we have any other additional questions around this. Um, okay, a couple of good ones. So, all right, I'm in the UK. How does the community work for people outside the US? So, we do, again, we cater to time-starved athletes. Um, and so we have people all around the world in all kinds of crazy busy schedules. And so we, we do the best that we can in terms of building the community up, no matter where you are or what time it is. So if you can, you've got options for, like I said, live classes, live office hours, all of that. But even outside of that, the Facebook group is active 24 seven. Um, like I said, we have hundreds of people in there. It is really engaged. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, on all of our VODs and live sessions, you can leave comments and we've had some really fun interactions back and forth with folks on opposite ends of the planet talking about workouts. We share stories in our weekly, we have a Sunday special, a kind of educational announcement email we send to our athletes. So we always broadcast athlete stories and achievements and um, and, and just, you know, we work really hard to connect to you so that you understand that there's not just a bunch of nameless faces out there, right? There's, there's other athletes. We want you to feel connected to them. We run virtual challenges, um, which you can participate in from anywhere in the world. And um, around a lot of the major races too, we'll connect athletes that are all going to the same race. So you guys can meet up. So there's a bunch of different levels at the end of this, but um, there are there's a lots of ways to connect individually with other athletes to join in live events together if the time zones work for you and, and interact in that way, to hear stories and share your own story with the rest of the community. And so we've, we've seen really good, um, really good response from that. And it's, like I said, it's one of the, I think the strongest parts of the Purple Patch experience. So whether you're in the UK, people in South Africa, Saudi Arabia, Australia, um, 
all around the world and they are always chatting with each other. They are always, always involved cheering each other on. And whenever possible, we do make those options for people to connect individually. Um, and really what I want to finish with then, let's see if we have any other questions. What I really wanna sign off with here is just the reminder that life isn't a spreadsheet and that we aren't pro athletes, but that when you approach training with a really pragmatic lens and with the right tools that you can see incredible improvements and you can really see your performance improve and expand in a way that you didn't think possible. And I'm speaking myself, I joined TriSquad myself like two and a half years ago, again, very much as an uh, almost a non-athlete. And it's been pretty awesome to see my own arc. And now that I get to connect with all of our other athletes, I, I get to see it in action. All different types of people, all different types of goals from short course novice athletes to veteran uh, long course and uh, triathletes, ultra runners, all of that. But the community is great. And really, when you do commit to this process, when you commit to this methodology, not only do you become a better athlete, but it gives you the tools that you need to do it in a way that helps you thrive in other areas of your life. You can train, you can have it both ways. You can train for these big, awesome, audacious, cool events and still hold down your job, be a good mom or dad or sibling or friend when you need to be, have other passions in your life, have space for downtime. And the really the, the foundation of Purple Patch is helping you do that effectively, helping you be the best athlete but also helping you be the best you. Um, and to, to, to close it out with a bit of a cheer, uh, cheesy sentence, right? Help you live your best life. But that's really what we're here for. So we have the world-class training architected by Matt Dixon. He's an Ironman master coach. He knows what he's doing. We have several hundred podiums um, and world championship world champions to, uh, to, to hold that up. And so you have world-class training, integrated strength, coach classes and coaching opportunities great education and community support. And it's all wrapped up in a nice package. So if you have other questions, if there was something I didn't answer tonight or something, if you're watching the replay that you see that um, I didn't answer, go ahead and write in to info at purplepatchfitness.com. Um, my team and I will be able to answer your questions there. And then I'll also drop a link into the chat where you can book some one-on-one -on -one time with me if you want to chat in more detail about um, your particular situation in race goals and whether TriSquad would be the right option for you or not. I'm happy to talk with you one-on-one -on -one in more depth. Um, if you're watching the replay, that link will also be in, in the email as well. And so we're here. You can join all year round. You can train all year round. Um, there's not a right or wrong time to join, but I will, I will kind of end with a call that Right now, we're just kind of finishing out that preparatory phase of training and we're heading into a build phase. There's still some really good time to start building up and establishing a really good foundation around supporting habits and around cardio conditioning and all of that ahead of race season and giving you a really good base um, of baseline training ahead of whatever racing you're doing. And so I would love to have you join us. Now would be a great time to jump in on that and take advantage of it. And again, if you have any questions or any follow-ups, just let us know.